Hello, Silver fans. This is T, and you're in the place to be for silver education, acquisition, and entertainment. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Okay, guys. Hey, in this video, I am going to show you my 50 best one ounce silver bars. And I'll tell you what, these things are pretty darn cool. And as you know, I've come across quite a few of these in the various coin shops that I visit. Now I'm gonna go through these one at a time, fill this box right here with the 50 best. Now before I do that and I show you all these bars and not to mention all the ones I have in these two little boxes here. Before I do that, let me just take this opportunity to kindly request that you hit that subscribe button down below. And if you're not currently a subscriber, in order to see more of my videos. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to hit that bell notification that will alert you to my upcoming videos. That will alert you every time I release a new video. And also, finally, the last thing I'll ask is that if you enjoy today's content, Hit that like button. Okay, everybody, check it out. Okay, guys, hey, here we go. Uh, we're going to get into this. I've got this guardhouse box. Holds 50. I also have silver bar capsules uh, from a guy named the On Fire Guy. As a matter of fact, you can see his sticker right here on my sticker board. But anyway, I kind of got this idea from a uh, YouTuber uh, that is a really cool guy. He's from down in Florida. He goes by the name Pirate Stacker. And um, he did something similar. I'm like, man, I'll tell you what, as a YouTube junkie, uh, constantly watching, I saw that and I'm like, man, that is a real good idea. I'm gonna do the same thing. I am going to get all of my one ounce bars organized and I get my like my top 50 and see where that lands. I already have some in capsules. All right, ooh, this is a ooh, very nice box here. And so this will be the forever home for a lot of these, uh, as you could see, let's, where do we start? Um, you know what I'll do is, I don't know if I have more than 50 or less than 50. Uh, that's one of the reasons for doing this video, to get kind of organized. Here's uh, number one right here. Uh, we'll put the chief uh, in. This is Silvertown, Winchester, Indiana, an oldie but a goodie. And uh, as you know, I am a Hoosier, so I'm not sure how we'll rank these or where exactly in each um, of these will go. But let me show you this Engelhard. There's something special about this Engelhard. Let me compare it. I think I have, yeah, here it is. Now take a look, left and right. Left and right look pretty similar, except for a major difference. Take a look at the serial number on the left and on the right, the big old stamped serial number. Uh, these are, are far fewer mintage with the big old stamps like that. Uh, these uh, you can find um, not all the time. Well, you're lucky when you can find an Engelhard bar like this. But this one with the major, the big stamp uh, there. And oh, frosted back, no less. This is a, must be a 1980. I think that's the only year they made these. Uh, that's, this is going to uh, get a place of honor here uh, towards the front as well. So I'll, we'll put that guy right in there and uh, move on to the next. Some of these, well, might as well keep with the Engelhard theme. Uh, this one is the, uh, got the diagonal Engelhard. This is as opposed to the horizontal. This is the vertical or the uh, portrait, as you can see, as opposed to landscape. That one's already in a nice little capsule. Look at that one in there. Oh, and, oh, oh, oh. Okay, and continuing with the Engelhard. This one is a fairly recent pickup. Engelhard Industries of Canada Refiners and Assayers. Uh, one troy ounce, blah, blah, blah. Look at that low serial number there. And this and the, this, the flat back. And uh, yeah, I have to look that one up and see how rare those are. And I have others that I will still need to uh, put inside of those uh, capsules. Uh, we'll get to those. Let's see these. I kind of, you know, when, when you go to all these coin shops and you find these, and by the way, most of these were bought somewhere around normal generic prices, not all. Some of them I paid up a little bit on, 
but a lot of them were. And, oh, let's see what we have here. We're going to have to put a lot of these in capsules. Oh, this is a cool one. This is uh, Shields Mint. And this is a mint that was uh, around uh, in the early 80s. I want to say like out of Ohio, if I remember correctly. Shields Mint. I did a whole video just on the Shields Mint bars. And so let me put that guy in there. He, that one will stay. I kind of wonder how many of these I actually have. Um, 50 or more. Uh, I don't know, maybe less than 50. Look, there's General Washington uh, at Valley Forge. Tough time in U.S. history. Let's see. Oh, this is National and with a mint, or excuse me, with a serial number at the bottom. So there's that. And we'll decide which out of these are the top 50 and are worthy of being placed in this box. Oh, this one. And I can't remember, Bosch or Back, uh, I, I, oldie but a goodies. Uh, a lot of these are 80s. Uh, oh boy, uh, you know what? A bunch of these, I'm gonna, let me just start with the ones that are already. And you know, I might as well make this like the angle hard row here. So let me pull this one out. <clears throat> And I'll take this, and this will be consistent here. We'll have this whole row angle hard. There you go. Ooh, look at the tone on that. You see that green tone in the light? That's a beauty. So we'll put that one right up there. And we'll put this one there. Another frosted back. 1980 is the year they did the frosted back. And a bunch of these obviously need... Ooh, this one is already in a capsule. Sears Tower. Yeah, I think I might have picked that one up at Sherry's uh, Coin Shop, the Collector's Gallery, if I remember correctly. Um, sometimes you kind of forget when you <laughs> hit Coin Shop after Coin Shop after Coin Shop, but this is a cool one right here. That's for sure. Okay, let me start putting some of these in capsules, and I'll show them to you as we go along. Okay, let me show you which ones made the cut and got put in those capsules. Uh, which ones didn't? This one's cool, uh, very cool Aztec, but this is, you know, this is something you could find at most coin shops. They're still producing. Uh, as far as being a stack collector and stacking and collecting, I really kind of favor, and look at all these old plastic <laughs> things. I really kind of favor the old stuff, the vintage stuff. And so let me go through this and show you what's going to make the cut and make it to this box right here. Southeast Refining, Panama City, Florida. I've been to Panama City, Florida. Nice place to visit. And there you go. So this one will definitely make the cut here. And we'll put that in there. And so here we go. We've got the collection going there. As you can see, this side is Engelhard, and we'll have many more Engelhards in there. Now, this is what you call an art bar. Uh, and one of the things I like about art bars, and this is made by uh, Madison Mint 999 Fine Silver. Uh, <laughs> you've got a turkey pulling a buggy with a lady in it. And who in 1974 thought that this would be a great idea for Thanksgiving uh, to put a turkey, <laughs> uh, you know, pull in a buggy. I don't know if that's a cornucopia or what, but a, a lady that looks very determined face there. I don't know if she's uh, driving that buggy home to, uh, to put that turkey in the oven or what, but somebody somewhere thought this was a good idea back in the day. And that's one of the reasons I think it's silly, it's funny and a keeper for me in my stack collection. More Engelhard, we'll keep that stack going there. Another Engelhard, there'll be more art bars in here, I can guarantee you that. Uh, and this one, nice toner. Look at that green tone towards the top there. And uh, next, uh, another uh, bar that I really like is the old Silvertown. This happens to be a flat back. I'm thinking this one's gotta be pretty old. And uh, Silvertown is from Winchester, Indiana. And of course, as you guys all know, I am a Hoosier. That will go in that box right there. More Engelhard. Can you tell I like Engelhard? Uh, and there is another one of those Shields Mint. Uh, when I found these, I 
I uh, got lucky. I think I picked up a, uh, two or three of them. I don't know if I sold one or what. National, a little adding a little variety. This is out of Canada, product of Canada. And then JM, who doesn't like a good old JM bar? This one is like proof quality, super, super shiny. Good face revealer there. And here we go. The stack is going. More Silvertown. You got the iconic uh, miner there uh, with the little donkey. And on this side as well, it's a pretty reverse, that's for sure. And so here we go, adding to it. Now, again, another one of those art bars. I showed you this just a minute ago. Mount uh, or Washington at Valley Forge. I don't know if I showed you this side. 1973, United States Coinage Corp. And uh, I'm not real familiar with that one. Can't say that I've seen a lot from there. Here's another one of those goofy early 70s, 1973. Uh, you've got a big old Easter egg there with a ribbon around it, no less. And a couple of bunnies <laughs> on either side. Um, so that, you know, maybe that was put in somebody's Easter egg back in the day. Here's a cool one. Uh, being, uh, you know, close to Chicago, living in Northwest Indiana, uh, Chicagoland area uh, up here in the region. Uh, you know, I'm always finding Chicago stuff. And this is made in Switzerland for the First National Bank of Chicago. And gosh, uh, let's see, Frank Lloyd Wright, the Robbie House. So Frank Lloyd Wright being the famous architect. And for whatever reason, the First National Bank of Chicago made a silver bar depicting that. And I kind of wonder, was that like a series back in the day or what? Will this guy go in? Yeah, that, that'll go in right there. A little tight there. And, oh, more Englehart Industries. Oh, yeah. I like, look at that low serial number, 09370. Wonder how many of these they made. I've, there's a guy watching named Silverstruck, may, uh, one of my favorite uh, YouTubers. Uh, let's see. There, right up there, you can see his old and his new sticker. Let's put that right back down there. Get situated. Silverstruck or anybody else who's knowledgeable on Englehard and vintage bars, you let me know what you guys know about this, please. I'd appreciate your help. And, oh, here is another fun. Here's another holiday. 1973 seems, 73 was a big year for silver, obviously. And this one I think I got for just a little over generic prices. And you've got, <laughs> you've got the witch. With the cat, the screeching cat on the broom, and uh, webs on either side. Look, is that a firefly or a bug or something caught in the webs on either side? October 31st, 1973. Who makes this? Madison Mint. So those of you who are art bar fanatics, there you go. You probably know about this one. And let's see here. Let me slide this guy in there. There it is. And there's the old witch uh, finding her new home there. Why does that one look crooked? There it is. It wasn't down all the way. And this one too. Get all these down in here. And uh, there you go, the silver bullet. And there's another one in here. I kind of like the fact that I've got two different varieties here. They both say the one ounce. The one ounce. And, but one looks like a 22 shell right there, a little round. Uh, and this one looks like a heftier bullet. They're both called the silver bullet. The one on the right, of course, has a little prettier tone, but I like them both because they're a nice variety. And it says 999 fine. Guys, you know about these at all? Uh, I know there's a book on art bars, and it is out of print. And because of this, it's very, very expensive. They say uh, if you get it, the best version to get is version five because it has uh, the art bars and the pictures and a uh, little info. This one, uh, uh, Heraeus, is that how you say that? And there's the name lots of times on the back. Something different. A lot of times when I see something different, I think, well, I've got to have that because it's different. And this is the best uh, image of that Silvertown miner. And there he is with the old donkey. <laughs> Donkey's got a look on his face like he's not ready to move, but the miner is in Winchester, Indiana. And I cannot wait to make it down to Winchester. I sure hope they let me video down there. That would be really, really fun. 
uh, another angle hard. And there we go. And uh, here comes the chief. We'll put him and oh, another silver town. We'll put the chief in the back here. So as you could see, well, this kind of pleases me. I do have space on either side for more bars. And you bet I'll be looking at a coin shop near you. Maybe I'll be traveling a little bit uh, this summer and I'll be looking to uh, find some interesting bars to fill this up. Now, once I hit 50, the big question will be, uh, will I like start taking out and putting in and just keep my best 50 and that's it? Um, I don't know, hard to tell at this point, but either way, that is my art bar, my silver one ounce bar collection. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching everybody. And if you'd like to see more in the outro video, I'll put uh, another video or two for you to choose from. Until then, thanks for watching everybody. Peace.